Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and I'm going to do a quick little video about um, driving on Valentine's Day. Now, some of you might be celebrating Valentine's Day, some of you might not be celebrating Valentine's Day. Some of you may like celebrating on Valentine's Day, and then you have others where Valentine's Day is actually a pretty difficult day of the year to swallow, truthfully, if we're being honest. And uh, uh, you know, I can tell you at least for this particular entrepreneur um the valentine's day is especially uh tough to deal with but the bottom line is it does exist and it is a good day to do uber and lyft and of course i highly recommend lyft over uber for two reasons one they have some hourly guarantees which are nice i mean chances are you'll meet them so lyft won't be paying you anything out of pocket but you know just in case they have them. And of course, there's a tip option. And um, people who are out and about on Valentine's Day tend to be like people who you're driving out on Christmas, generous tippers. And um, if they don't have a tip option on the app, you might not get one. So even if the prices are the same, you know, hourly guarantees plus tips makes more sense to drive for Lyft than Uber. Um, the question, of course, comes up like, should you deliver any food on Valentine's Day? And for me, the answer is no. I do not believe it is profitable to deliver food on Valentine's Day. You might get lucky. You might get lucky. You might get the few families who don't care that's Valentine's Day and they're just going to order some food in. But for the most part, people are going out to eat tonight. They're going out into town and, you know, they want they want to eat dinner. They want to do a little dancing. They want to go home. In fact, even if there are some couples who get dinner delivered home, which um, even though I don't have a whole lot of experience, there's a chime. Um, <laughs> from my Facebook page, even if, even though I don't have a lot of experience with this, I think ordering in on Valentine's Day is, uh, for the most part, not a great way to celebrate the day. Uh, the only way I think it could possibly be done right is if you get the food early and you set it up real fancy on the table before, uh, your wife or husband, um, whether you're a guy or a girl, I don't know. Uh, gets home, that's the only way you could do it properly. Otherwise, I think it makes a lot more sense to take the girl out to a nice dinner, um, whether it be Olive Garden or Na Napolini's in uh, downtown Disney. I really like Napolini's in downtown Disney. For the record, that's probably my favorite place to eat. So, if anyone who's watching this channel and you're over there, you might see me sometimes. Who knows? Sometime, who knows? Um, but that is what people typically want to do and if they're smart they won't want to drive because they intend to have some wine and so they will be calling ride sharing um now here's the thing on the uber app keep an eye on some areas where there's a lot of these types of restaurants around because they can potentially surge i can't tell you when they're going to surge because it kind of is hit and miss um it kind of just depends when people stop eating but they can surge if you don't don't have the patience to wait for the surge, that's where you have Lyft, which could also potentially go into prime time, but you have the added benefit of there being tips. Um, in terms of driving, I would highly recommend um, maybe, you know, if you give out candy, I would give out kisses and hugs. Makes sense. Or sweethearts. Those would be great. Um, make sure you're playing love songs. Um, 80s, 90s love songs. Um, soulful jazz um you know play the celine dion's the peebo bryson's luthero vandross um michael bolton uh who who else trisha yearwood garth brooks uh these are artists who have very famous love songs so phil collins um not against all odds or separate lives but you know, like, you know, Me and My Heart and um, True Colors and Cindy Lauper. These are the artists you'll want to play. You might even want to make a mix, um, a mix playlist, you know, make it more personalized. Um, but basically set the mood um, for the writers. And keep in mind, no matter how bad of a day you're having, sorry, um, they want to have a good day. Um, so this might be one of the few times where aside from the small chit chat at the beginning, 
I wouldn't impose too much conversation on them unless they engage you. And if they engage you, some topics you might want to discuss, like how did you two meet? How long have you been together? Um, if they aren't engaged, um, ask, are you going to be getting engaged soon? I really got to uninstall that Facebook app. I really do. And, and you know, make it about them. Uh, the, and the more you make it about them, the more you make them feel special about them celebrating Valentine's Day, the better your star grade, the better the tip potentially. Um, that's, you know, and... I mean, this is all not new necessarily. In fact, most of you probably already know this. So the question is, why am I even making the video? And, uh, well, as much as this channel is an informational video, it's also kind of a blog. And yeah, I'm not having a great day today. When it, The fact that it's Valentine's Day, you know, I mean, here's the thing. In case there's, I know there's some people watching this. Um, and I want to tell those people, I'm... <sighs> Ugh, I hate that thing. Ugh, um, I, uh, <laughs> I'm hopeful for what the future could potentially bring, but I'm still reminded of the opportunities that were lost and the opportunities I might never have, I will never have again. So, um, this is kind of just maybe me just kind of trying to tell myself that it's going to be okay today, but, um, Aside from that, play romantic music, be nice, but not intrusive. If you do talk to them, um, make it about them, not you. Don't deliver food. So th that's my advice for Valentine's Day. Um, what do you folks think? Um, have you done Valentine's Day before? What's your experience? I'd like to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. And here's the thing. If you do have someone special in your life, Please do not take them for granted. You have no idea what can happen. They could easily not be there the next day. And that is just like the worst feeling in the world. So, so tell that person that you love just what you're thinking of.